everybody, I'm Jillian and welcome to another Lego challenge with Holton Hills Public Library. Now, if you've been watching some of our previous videos, you might remember a few weeks ago we made a helicopter. And today we're going to be making something similar. Um, it is a plane. So this plane is kind of one of those old fashioned kind of planes with the wings at the front and the propeller at the front. So that's what we'll be making today. It is um, it is a very small plane and it's fairly easy to make, but there are a lot of little pieces involved. So why don't we take a look at the pieces we're going to be needing to use to make this plane today. So as you can see, there's lots of flat pieces that we need for this. Um, not a lot of big bricks, just mostly sort of thin flat pieces. Um, we'll be using some of these flat pieces for the cabin of the airplane. So um, we'll be using these for the cabin and this one here for the cabin. Um, we need another little windshield like the one we used on the helicopter as well. Um, we need some of these little two dot pieces for uh, our wings and the wings are going to be made up of these big flat pieces here so we'll need um, some of those to build our wings. I also have a little pilot here and I have a few different pieces to use for the actual propeller so I do have a, a Lego propeller here and a little wheel that can be used to connect the propeller to you, as well as this little Lego Technic piece that will be used to connect the propeller to the wheel. The other things we need are for the tail fin. So we've got this little piece here and this piece, which gives us a little bit of a sort of streamlined look for our, for our um, plane. And then this piece here, which we'll be using for that as well. So a lot of different pieces in total. You'll also need some wheels for your airplane. So um, I don't have any wheels that actually fit the size of my airplane. So I'm just going to be using these little round ones instead of wheels. And a little uh, connecting piece for the wheels as well. So we're going to start by building our cabin. And to build our cabin, we need this um, 30 dot long piece. And this is kind of going to be like the spine of our airplane, kind of, kind of the central thing that we build everything from. So we'll start with this, and we'll also start with this 24 dot rectangular piece. And I'm just going to double it up with another set of black pieces. These are two 12 dot pieces. If you have a, another 24 dot black piece, you could just put that over the top. Basically, we're just making it too, it, it just, just making it thicker. So we're going to take that and we're going to put this piece over the top and we're just going to leave four dots at the top there. So now that we have this, we just want to take some six dot long pieces and we're going to put these on the sides just to fill in that gap. And that's what we have there. Now we're going to put our windshield on our plane and to do that it's going to take another flat eight dot piece and I'm just going to put that over the top here like that. And then we're going to add our windshield to the top. Now it doesn't have to be done, but if you have a piece available, you can sort of cap off the top of your windshield with a little four dot piece just to sort of top it off. If you have a piece that doesn't have any dots on the top and it's just uh, smooth on the top, that's probably going to look the best. but I don't, so I'm just using one of these. 
So the next thing we need is to put up some sides to our cabin. So I've got these little four dot pieces here. We're just gonna put those on the side here. So we're sort of building our little cabin here for our pilot. Next thing we can do is we can take some of these eight dot pieces. I've got two gray ones. And I'm just gonna put them on top of each other like that and stick them underneath. So we're just trying to sort of keep the airplane looking the same throughout. So that's what we've got so far. And with the colors, you don't have to use these colors. It's it's completely up to you what colors you want to use for your plane. Um, I'm just trying to stick to a certain number of colors so that it doesn't look too crazy with a bunch of different colors. Sometimes if I'm not sure how many colors I have of something, I just build with what I can find. And then I go back and see if I can find the, the colors that I actually want afterwards. So just whatever you have available, you can use to make, to make the plane. So the next step um, is to work on the tail fin. And the tail fin is going to be at the back of our plane. We need to get one of these pieces here. And I have one of these pieces. And what I'm gonna do is connect it together so it's all just one piece. Um, you might have something similar to this if you don't have this exact thing. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, just whatever you can find. Just It just helps give the plane a little bit of a streamlined look at the back. I'm going to put that on here like that. And the tail fan is going to go on the very end. So this piece here is a 12 dot piece. It doesn't have to be exactly this size though because it could be bigger. Uh, as long as it's like a similar shape just to give the, the effect of a tail to the plane. And I've got this little slopey piece here and we're going to use this little slopey piece to go on the top. And another slopey piece to go underneath. And this piece is kind of one of those weird pieces that can connect from the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna put that one here underneath. So now that we have the majority of our plane built, we can start working on the wings for the plane. So I'm just going to put that part down and we're going to get some of the thin pieces that we need. So this piece here is a, a 30 dot piece. Oh, sorry, it's 32 dots. It's it's pretty long um, and with the wings you can choose how long or how short you want them to be. I'm going to um, double stack them so that they're a little bit thicker but you don't have to do that either if you don't have that uh, enough pieces to do that. So what I'm going to do is just grab a few extra long pieces and put these on top. So I have one of my wings and I'm just going to do my second wing. Now I don't have enough black long pieces so I'm going to use some blue on my second wing as well. And so now I have my second wing. Now to 
To put these wings on, one of the wings is going to go underneath the part that's sticking out here. So find the middle and stick that on underneath. And then we need to build a little bridge on either side to stick our top wing on. So I've got these little two dot pieces. And I'm gonna put those eight dots in from the end. And I'm gonna build them up three blocks high. On either side and that'll keep the wings separate enough so that you can still see through the windshield whoops so now I've got these pieces here I'm gonna take my second wing and I'm gonna put that on top And now we have our wings on our plane. It's time to put our propeller on as well. So for the propeller, I have the little propeller piece. I have a little circular piece and I also have a little Technic piece that will help to keep these together. So on my plane, I'm gonna put my little Lego Technic piece First of all, I'm going to get this piece. This piece has a little, um, like a little hole in it on the end. And it's going to go at the very tip of the plane, like that. And then I get my little Technic piece here and put it in like that. And then I'm going to get my circular piece and thread that through and then my propeller will go through on top. So having that Technic piece makes it a lot easier to do something like this. If you don't have the pieces, the same pieces that I have, you could always just kind of look at what you have and try to use your imagination a little bit to figure out how you're going to create a similar effect. So we've got most things together now. I'm going to put a little thin two dot piece at the front here, just to sort of complete this look at the front, just to fill it in. Um, and I have a couple of these little pieces. These aren't really necessary, but if you have them, you can use them. And I'm just gonna put them on the very end here on the sides of the plane, just to kind of give a little bit of an effect, to make it look like they uh, sort of like handles for the plane. And I also have my wheels, and my wheels aren't the best wheels, but they're, they give the same kind of look as wheels, so they will do. Um, I'm just gonna thread those through on the side. And we're just going to place that under the plane. And you want to put it sort of towards where the windshield is just to make sure that the wheels are in the right spot on the plane. So there's our plane. And the last thing we can do is we can um, get a little pilot. So I have my little pilot here and she's got a little hat, a little pilot's hat on. So we'll just put that on him and I'm going to put him in the cabin of the plane. I need to put his hands up a little bit so he fits in. Okay guys, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, look forward to seeing all the different kinds of things you can kind of make up. Um, if you want to post a picture of what you've made in the comment section, please feel free to do so. We'd love to see what you've been building. 
Thanks guys and have a great day. I look forward to seeing you next week with another Lego challenge.